and we're back. I'm going to finish the second medallion now. The first one is completed. We'll take a look at that. We're going to go over to the second one. The adhesive is dry. To the touch, it's tacky, and that's what we need. We need it to be tacky to the touch. You can't put it on right away because it's too wet. So we're going to take our gold leaf, which is very delicate, and we're just going to whoops, press. And that's okay. That's no problem. It'll be a nice brush. And we can tear it and press. And it'll only set where the adhesive is. And we start to brush away the stuff we don't want. And you can see it right there. And clean it up a bit. Down. Beautiful. Beautiful gold medallion. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our shading. We go up to our print. This is the final part of our print. We had put our print on. We had uh, done our leaf and vine. And that's very curly and soft. It's really nice. Now we're going to take some burnt umber oil, and that's what you see here, and we're going to rub a little bit in. Now this has been sealed because we used uh, polyurethane for our glaze, so we really have a seal coat on already, already. So we're ready to, to rub some of that in. So, excellent. We'll use a product called Georgian. This is exactly what artists use to do canvases. You can use any oil paint. I just happened to pick this up because it was less expensive. We want a color that's called burnt umber. It's soft, but it's got rich, deep color. We take a little bit, we put it onto a paper towel. Nothing fancy. Just a tiny bit. Wipe off the excess, and we have something like this. Now she seems to be sitting, so we just Put it closest to her, the darkest. Further away, we're going to feather it out to just about nothing. And I can see that right there. Good. It's a good rich line. We let it set for a little bit. And then we rub in. And that's pretty much it. We can give her some false bricks by just dashes. She's sitting on a brick wall. And very pretty. The final thing you need to do when you do a piece of furniture like this, and we worked on this most of the day. It should take you about a day to do this. We're going to take our liner brush very inky paint, and we're going to go sign our name. Let's go over here. My name. Oh, six. Okay. So if we just take a look back, step back with the camera, we'll take a good look at what we've done. One thing, too, we chose to use just simple handles. We just blended them in with the full finish so that they really didn't stick out. Really soft. We've got our decoupage done. If we go up, we can see our granite top. And it really looks perfect with this design. And I think that's just about it. Looks really nice, really romantic, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.